Hello everyone, so I wanted to make this very quick short video. Hopefully it will be short, I'll not bore you. So I talk about uh, on this channel Linux, I talk about Emacs, I talk about org mode, I talk about LaTeX, I talk about uh, open source technologies in general like GIMP, Kdenlive. Live, uh, what else? I also talk about uh, owning your own data, I also talk about uh, how I do computing. I also talk about uh, FFmpeg. So basically, I am focused on this channel on mostly open source, not mostly, only open source uh, technologies. And uh, open source is not really about, uh, you know, install Ubuntu or uh, Fedora or install some application. It is all, 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 it is always about on my channel, on this channel, on optimization, how to get things done quickly with quality using of course these tools so my objective is not really to just learn a tool or to show you or talk about uh, a tool or a technology or, or, or a utility I always talk about uh, the outcome like how I use my setup to deliver something for example I if I have to make a video I use FFmpeg if I have to write books I use LaTeX. If I have to make presentations or training content, I use Beamer. So I think I have a lot of things that I can potentially share. I'm not really saying it is the best way of doing it, but uh, things that I have uh, uh, learned over the years and uh, the way I have used these different technologies to uh, do what I do. And I think uh, through this channel, on Blackberry Boy channel, I of course you know share a lot, but there is always something different about uh, like some actual face-to-face -face meeting or meetup or event. Through this channel, I have met a couple of people, not really a lot to be honest, but a couple of people who reached out to me and they wanted to you know just meet me, and I met them, and I'm super happy and glad that uh, there are some people who actually watch my videos and they can relate to it. And I think that is also true for anyone. If you are online uh, and if you are uh, doing something that you think can be shared with, a, with someone, there will be someone who will watch your videos or read your content. And uh, video, videos is of course on YouTube. And I can tell you from my experience because I have been blogging for many years, uh, people reach out to me and uh, they can relate to me and it is also true for me i do follow some vloggers or bloggers or youtubers whatever you need to call it or people who make videos uh, and i do uh, relate to what they have to share what they have to talk about and i think it is very important that uh, we uh, in a way respect each other because we all have our own way of working we all have our own perspective, but we don't really have to like uh, uh, judge someone. For example, if you watch my org video, org mode videos, or if you watch my Linux videos, of course, I share what I think works for me. But at the same time, my opinion or my perspective on other tools or in general is also correct. Or you, you don't really have to follow each and everything that I have to you know share. So what I wanted to talk about is that because when we make videos online, it is like always one way. I think there should be some interaction so that we can also, you know, help each other or we can actually build like a community. And I think there are already communities when it comes to open source technologies. In the past, I have been uh, contacted by uh, a group who runs uh, Emacs meetups, which is great because I made a video on this uh, talking about uh, should we start an Emacs meetup group and uh, recently someone reached out to me from Free Software Foundation uh, asking me to you know uh, do a workshop so there are groups and in the past I have been part of uh, some groups not really a, like a lot of groups but uh, there, there is always something different when it comes to an actual uh, physical meeting uh, somewhere where you can talk to people in person of course you know these days it is uh, a bit difficult or uh, I should say after COVID, I think people always try to 
do something online if they can because you know there are people from different uh, remote uh, locations different countries uh, but i think irrespective of a virtual or in person event i think it is important that we should uh, make it a point to not 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 all the time but whenever we have time or whenever we think uh, uh, it's the right frequency for us i think we should probably you know try to meet with each other so i want to say that in this video uh, the message is that if you think whatever i have been talking about is of any use feel free to invite me feel free to reach out to me and i would love to be part of your group and uh, i would love to speak i would love to talk about something that i have been doing and it might also help you or you know your audience or whatever group that you are running for example you know all the topics that i mentioned so far emacs linux org mode open source in general and the way i have been using these tools uh, for my day to day working i, I do use these tools to actually work <laughs> and uh, uh, it has been the case for uh, 20 years 20 plus years so of course i use mac of course i use windows because i have to i have no other choice but uh, my primary operating system on my main laptop or computer or most of my computers are on uh, linux and uh, because i have been using it for many years i think i can definitely you know help new users who want to move to open source or maybe they are struggling to do something because if i mean i'm not i'm not alone to be honest i have been doing it for 20 plus years and i know a lot of people like me have been doing it for uh, for 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 more than a decade or uh, maybe 20 years maybe more than 20 years to be honest and we we can always you know learn from each other so what i wanted to share in this video is that uh, do reach out to me i will make it a point if i can to accept your in invitation and i will probably prepare some talk on some topic it could be max or mode or terminal based utilities or maybe just talking i mean we don't really have to have like a meet up where there are talks or sessions we can just have like a catch up on some theme or or a topic and if you can do that in person that is of course amazing uh, if you are in the uk area or somewhere in uh, europe then i can definitely do it i can definitely visit and i would love to you know visit your group your event also if you are in uh, india to be honest just just reach out to me i mean you you never really know even if you even if you can't travel let us say you're doing some in person event i can probably you not know, just connect from uh my room here and we can do it online but uh, reach out to me that is what i wanted to you know uh, share and that is it that is it in this video i hope you found this video useful and you also learned something new thank you very much bye bye